so far, so free. And when she smiles at me, the whole world starts to quake under my feet. In this I know. My love Wondering what I leave Oh, New Orleans Ooh, The place that's made of dreams I'd be laying next to Miss Marie And this I know My love Thank you so much for that. That was beautiful and just lovely to hear your voice Thank in the so studio much. here today. Thank you for joining us and being on Soul Stories. Thank you so much, Doc. It's a privilege and an honor to be here, standing right across from you. And you brought two people with you. Do you want to introduce the musicians here? Yes. These are my good friends, my ace boom coons, my homies and compadres, my brothers from other mothers that I really appreciate and love very dearly. Drake Ritter, the guitar player who helped me produce this beautiful record, and my good friend over here, Glenn Myers, who also played on the record. He's on the bass. Um, both fellas born and raised in Indiana in the cornfields, baby. <laughs> and Indiana is a special place for you, too. You're from Louisiana. Yes. And you went to school at Indiana, right? I did. I did. Uh, that was the first place outside of Louisiana I went to cut my teeth, as they say. And, um, man, yeah, it sure did kick my butt. <laughs> <laughs> Those winners, I'm sure, were no joke for yes, someone indeed. from the Gulf Coast. It, you know, listening to your album... I think it conveys such a strong sense of place in mm. there. I mean, I want etouffee when mm -hmm. I hear some of those songs on yes. Wait Till I Get Over. What made you decide to take your listeners home with you on this album? Well, I felt like there was so much that the listeners didn't know. And there was so much that they weren't aware of. Um, and I just wanted to dig a little deeper within myself and share a story that I feel like is unique to um, the American story, um, which is the black rural South, which is drastically changing and disappearing. And um, I wanted to have a little bit of documentation about a place that, you know, once existed within the American story. Wow. And like the song that you just performed, there are people who yes. are part of this as well. So many names attached to the places. Are these stories about people in your life who have uh, left a mark on you? Yes, definitely. Um, the, the most significant people, definitely. Uh, the ones with love lost and love gained and... Um, uh, love fleeting were, were really important topics for me um, with this because uh, oftentimes you know I guess we can I can compare some of my intimate relationships to also my relationship to my hometown you know especially with the love fleeting 
sort of thing and wanting to escape and 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 move away um only to have this longing and and recall these like beautiful memories that you had together and that's kind of like how i wanted to start the record with jerry marie in a way like that and so yeah i'm really happy with how it came out um i played the song for said jerry marie and she really loved it so if you're hearing this right now jerry yeah that one's for you baby <laughs> that's beautiful <laughs> and uh, you've got another song that yes. you're gonna do for us now what's the next one the next one is titled sadie and this one is more dealing it's dealing with love but it's more in a way of infidelity all right well yeah. when you're ready we'd love to hear sadie all right Oh, Miss Sadie, look what you done. Got your man, man who's in the run. Leaving in line, it all feels the same. Much left to do, and there's no one to blame. Oh, Sadie, you know what you done. Was go go evening when she was gone. Man is moving to the unknown. Don't you say no tears, my dear, yeah. Cause baby, you know what you done. Oh, my dear. Thank you so much for that. That was beautiful. Thank you. Really and again, just it. a dream to hear your voice live in <laughs> this studio. I mean, it, it, it's surreal for me right now. Thank so. you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. It, you know, listening to your voice to me is almost like hearing the history of soul music, you know, and I other elements on Wait Till I Get Over also seem to convey a really strong sense of history as well. You hear all of these other forms influencing the way that you sing. And I'm wondering about your musical journey. What forms of music, especially from the rural South, have shaped your approach to soul? Man, you know, it was, music was just such a part of life. Um especially soul music on the Saturday mornings when my dad's cleaning up uh, the spot or my grandmother in the car. Um, and especially Sundays, there were so many amazing singers like a Miss Dawn or a Miss Penny or Vanessa or Hardino. 
all these amazing singers who are all now passed away. They're all gone. Um, but they never, they never had the opportunity or never got the chance to do what I'm doing. And I am standing on their shoulders. Um, it's an honor to be um, a part of that legacy. And uh, they influence me as a singer um, so much more or s just as much as Donny Hathaway or Stevie Wonder does. So, yeah. Yeah. And I wonder often listening to you, are you a poet? You know, I would like to call myself a poet. I don't know if other people would, but hey, <laughs> yeah, I, I like to write. I think I get it from my dad. My dad's one of those like really stoic country men. Like he don't say much, but for some reason he likes to write poetry and recite it at church. And I'm just like, where's this coming from? This dude barely, you know, you can barely get like three sentences out of him, but he loves to write poetry. And I think I get it from him or it rubbed off. Right. There's a strong sense of poetry on your album. There's a, a poem written on the album jacket. There's spoken word on the album. So that seemed to be an important part of uh, your creativity and musicality as well. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I really wanted this record to push me in more ways than just being a musician because I feel like being an artist is the ultimate goal. So um, putting, you know, intention in everything within the writing, within the videos, um, within the, the visual art aspect of it, as well as the music, it was also important to me. And how did you approach this in a way that is different from the way you would approach music with the indications going into this as a solo project? Well, this one, I wanted to try some unconventional things. Um, so with this one, I wanted to try things, you know, sh like shots in the dark where I just felt like um, I could really execute something weird. Um with the indications, it's a very collaborative process. Blake, Aaron, and myself, we all are working together, and a big part of collaboration is compromise. With this one, I didn't necessarily want to do so. And so I found these guys back here, Drake and Glenn, and Ben Lumsdane and Matt Romy, and some other folks, too. And, you know, I gave them lists of books like Toni Morrison and Yoko Ono, and um, Claudia Rankine and all these, Fred Moten, um, as well as um, paintings and uh, sculptists and painters and poets um, that I really liked. And we just, we really tried to take these different mediums of art and try to translate it into music in some sense. I could show them a line or a page from a James Baldwin book, like just above my head, and we would find some kind of way to translate that into music. So it really felt like a whole new experience for me to try these things. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm just very thankful. Thankful to Dead Oceans for giving me the chance. Um, and I'm thankful to these guys and the community that supported me and allowed me to do this. Well, I love that. It sounds like an interdisciplinary project. Yeah, it really challenged us in every way possible. Excellent. And you all are going to do one more song here, Have Mercy. Lord, it's have mercy. Yes, indeed. All right. Well, when you're ready, let's get into it. Thank you. Sunday morning still 
kids all dressed up and she's headed to church But I'm in bed tired from last week's work So Lord please have mercy on me She happened to go round the way and up above Some folks flying high She said smiles in their eyes They ain't doing fine Oh, the please, oh Have mercy on me, yeah Smiling eyes. Sad smiling eyes, yeah. Can you see me in the sad smiling eyes? Sad smiling eyes, yeah. Mama, can you hear me in the sad smiling eyes? Yeah. Oh, mama, can you hear me in the sad smiling eyes? Yeah. Let's go. Well, I wasn't the one doing the singing, but I feel like I need a moment after that. (laughs) (laughs) That was just incredible. Thank you. You've been listening to the sounds of Duran Jones live at the historic Hotel Congress on Soul Stories, KXCI. Thank you so much for dropping by.